Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My, my next guest is the best-selling author. His, uh, his book, uh, which, this is one of the books that he wrote. It's called A Walk Amongst the Tombstones. This is a clue to his name here. <laughs> And the, it's been made into a film which is opening on September 19th. And everybody that's in the studio audience tonight gets a copy of this book! And, and I've read it, and it's really good! And it's been turned into a movie with Liam Neeson. Take a look at this. Good. You should do that. Lawrence Block, everybody! Lawrence First of all, I want to congratulate you on two things. Number one, your tie. It's eye-popping, it's fantastic, it's revealing a side of you I didn't know existed, and, and I've known you for some time. And also, <laughs> congratulations on this. Thank you. Because I, I, that makes me very happy. Because I read this, this is the first book of yours I read, you know. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. years ago. When did this, you write this? 1992 it came out. I got sober in 1992, and now I read this in 1992. Coincidence? Oh, I think oh, not. Oh, I think not. <laughs> because, also, before 1992, one doing a lot of reading, Larry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, oh, I yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wrote when you were drinking, though, didn't you? Well, not while I was physically drinking, but... Well, you didn't do that... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that, Finally, I've had an idea! That didn't work because the key... I hit all the wrong keys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it a typewriter you used back then? Sure. Oh, see, that was the day. That's when writers were writers. <laughs> <laughs> now they all look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, right, you heard me, Stephen King. Anyway. <laughs> He does! He looks like... The, you see uh, King with his top off? He's ripped. Um, no, the, it looks like from the trailers... I haven't seen the movie yet, but from the trailers, it looks like that they got this one right. They you really did. You seen the they, movie? They really did, yes. I saw the uh, cut right, right after they mixed it back uh, late last fall. Oh, wow. All right. And uh, I was very, very happy. I was on the set uh, about half a dozen times while they were filming. So you, you met Liam Neeson then? Yes, I did. So if, if, for example, he called, you would be able to, <laughs> you would be able to talk to him? Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Just in case. Uh, hello? Hello, Larry. It's Liam Neeson. How are you? <laughs> Liam, I thought you'd never call. Well, you and I hang out all the time, don't we, Larry? Well, yes. I don't want to have to stab you in the neck, Larry. <laughs> I but hate I will it do when it. you do. I will do it, Larry. Okay. 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 <laughs> so... <laughs> wow. Larry? You, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, he's a sweet guy, but it's still... A, he, he's Liam Neeson, though. He'll yeah. kick your ass. Yeah. Uh, I, no, he's, he's like a, he's yes. a boxer, Liam, back in the day. He's like, yeah, and he's like, and yeah. <laughs> also, I, congratulations on two, another two things. One, Liam Neeson calling you, and two, you're the only guest I've ever given the phone to who immediately knew how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Agent experience pays off. Always. Agent yeah. experience always pays off. Well done, my friend. So that's good. So, uh, so we have decided now that Liam Neeson, in popular culture, will be the face and the look of Matt Scudder, who is in a lot of these uh, different... This is one of the Matt Scudder series, yes. right? Okay, so will there be more then, do you think? I hope. Yeah. I, I, I hope. That will depend obviously, on um, how this one does at the box office. Really? I didn't think Hollywood was interested in it's money. It's surprising. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. It, 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 I was shocked. But, but yes, there, there, there is a connection. But if the film is the success that it really looks as though it's going to be, uh, 
then they will probably want to do a sequel and... Man, you're going to be so rich. <laughs> so, the next time we have lunch, you know, you could pay. <laughs> well, well... I knew there was a downside. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Well, let's wait and see if there's a sequel yeah, for yeah, it. Just yeah, in case. Absolutely. All right, then. Okay. But, you know, Denny's gets expensive, man. Yeah. 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 But that's cool. How's things in New York? Are you still writing in New York, or did you, did you go somewhere to... to... I, as, as you know, my retirement has been a washout. Yeah, you, I, you, that was rubbish. What was that, like I, five years I ago? Know, I'm I know. not writing anymore. The muse has left me. You've written, like, eight, <laughs> and like eight or nine uh -oh. books in the last... Uh, I know. I you know. The muse can be cajoled back. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Is that anything to do with money? <laughs> <laughs> it probably yeah, does. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It makes the mayor go, they say. Right. Uh, no, I wrote a book um, in July in Philadelphia. So, yeah, because you always tend to go places to write, right? Yes, so you I do. Philly, Philly's a good place to write a book. It is. You walk around a bit. Get yeah. inspired. A nice place to walk around. Yeah, yeah. Nice Where did you town. walk around? Did you go up the big rocky steps and do the hair dream? No, no. I was, I, w I stayed, I, I sublet an apartment right on Rittenhouse Square. Okay. And it's a really nice section, and I just walked around there. Yeah, I like But Philly mostly, I, mostly I sat and I rode. Did you go to Gino's and Pat's, the steakhouse thing? No. <laughs> Were you really in Philly? <laughs> You know, there's My the wife Gino's. thinks I was really in Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. yeah. Okay. I, I know your wife well, Larry. If you're thinking of running around on Lynn, good luck to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you when your testicles are removed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, is so, this is such good news, though. I'm really very pleased for you because. The adaptation that I saw, what was the adaptation they did? A million ways to... They did eight million ways, well, it, they, they cut it from eight million to one. One million, <laughs> yeah. And that was in the 70s that, or 80s? That was in 85 or 6, something like that. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Jeff Bridges did good work in the film, and so did Andy Garcia, but the film was a mess. Yeah, well, because they took a very new, the quintessential New York cop, and a boom in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, right there. The, yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, there's a difference between these two cities, Larry. I always felt there was. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I, mean, I got up this morning and I walked out and it was really hot and the sun was shining and I thought, it's not New York. This isn't Kansas anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, I think of you as the, you're a New Yorker. You'll never leave New York, will you? Not voluntarily. No. Uh, Lynn and I moved away one time in the mid 80s and. Uh, Realized the error of our ways and moved back. Yes, moved back again. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, whenever I meet you outside of New York, you seem a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I'm, I can be uncomfortable in New York. Well, that's good. Well, it's good to know you keep it up. Well, anyway, I'm very pleased for you. I hope the movie is a, is a stonking great success and they make many more uh, because I'm, uh, I'm very happy about this. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Well done. Live block, everybody. We're right.